Cardano, Cardano, Cardano. Where are we at? Things are moving in the right direction. Uh, we're making some great progress. Uh, we'll have a lot to say about Gogan towards the end of the month at the product update. So do attend that. Uh, every single dimension uh, where we can accelerate things uh, to deliver more to market faster, I am personally getting involved in to make sure that that happens. Lately, Daedalus is the target of the Eye of Sauron. And uh, we're seeing if we can parallelize a lot of the work streams there to include lots of new, exciting, cool things. I have nothing to say yet about it because we are tendering some contracts, but I will definitely announce that in due course, uh, that some major progress being made there. Uh, we're working real hard on the Voltaire side as well. We were planning on having ballots around the 7th, but that was always kind of a floating tentative date. Uh, but it's sometime this month, and um, I'm going to talk to Dor tomorrow and throughout the week, and we'll get you an exact date for that soon. Uh, but things are definitely moving in the right direction there. Uh, and uh, very soon, the DC fund is going to wake up. I believe we're still on target for an October voting season for the first wave of the DC fund. And we are collecting lots of great feedback from uh, Fund One. And there's already a ton of interesting ideas. Idea Scale has been a phenomenal partner to work with and they provided a huge amount of value to the process and we're getting a lot of cool business requirements and we're already broadening the scope of things that we look at so for example um i have my bi people give me a report on gitcoin very keen to look into that model so there's lots of things we're learning from external projects as much as we are our own community uh lately we've actually seen an enormous effort launched by rick mccracken and uh, his friends which is a foundation community roadmap which clearly articulates what the community feels the foundation should be doing. We at IO Global always support the wisdom of the crowds when it's properly engaged, and we're real happy to see that occur. And what we're going to try to do is see if we can add some structure to that conversation so it doesn't just uh, kind of go in 12 different directions and spin out of control, but rather it gets really focused and refined so they can get a clear set of asks. And it, what's nice is there's a kind of... Um, an analogous work stream with what's going on with Voltaire in the work with IdeaScale. It's just being done on a much larger level with what Rick has started. So I think somehow if we could find a way to get Dor and his team and IdeaScale involved with the roadmap process and put some project management tools on par, on par with it, we'll get much higher quality conversation. And not only that, I think it'll converge to very specific asks that are addressable. As I mentioned before in my last video, uh, when that roadmap is finalized, the community is very happy about it. Uh, we'll write an open letter to the Cardano Foundation requesting a line-by-line uh, -line response. Basically, each item on that agenda of that roadmap, uh, either an acknowledgement that they're going to do it and how they're going to do it, when it's going to get done, uh, or an explanation of why they can't do that or why it's a counterproductive idea. There could be regulatory reasons why they couldn't pursue these things or budgetary reasons or priorities or other things, uh, but silence cannot be the answer. If the community is going to take the time uncompensated to build something, uh, the foundation needs to address that directly. And we'll do everything we can from the IO Global side to uh, kind of make sure that that gets done. But we're real happy to see what Rick has accomplished in such a quick period of time. It's, uh, it's always astounding. You know, we're, we are one of the most decentralized and vocal communities in the cryptocurrency space, and uh, they don't like lack of progress. <laughs> and they remind us that on a daily basis. Um, marketing, marketing, marketing. Uh, Lisa is an uh, Lisa is, uh, interesting gal. She, um, our marketing director, sorry, just getting a phone call here from City Longmont. Lisa is our marketing director, and uh, she's... Um, just getting her feet wet. We've already had her in several meetings. And uh, what we'll probably do is have her come on to the Cardano effect in uh, in a due course uh, to basically give you guys an idea of what our marketing strategy is going to look like and how we're going to do product marketing and uh, comparison marketing. That's the first priority that we've given her. And then we'll actually merge that over to campaign marketing for specific demographics and groups that we think are high value to have acquisition into the ecosystem. Um, also getting very heavily involved on the programming language side. And we're trying to tender out some parallelism with the roadmap of Gogan so that we can deliver even more to market faster. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's all going to cost me probably a few million dollars to do this. Um, if you look at all the things I'm accelerating with additional funding, uh, but I'm a, a competitive guy and um, we've all gone too far five years into this to 
lose. It's about time we win. So if it's a matter of spending a little bit more money to get us where we need to go so that we can be more solid entering into 2021, that's okay. I got that. We'll get that done. Uh, so things, uh, things are looking nice. Anyway, we'll have a lot more to report later this month and at the end of the month and going into October about a lot of Gogan and DAP related items. So uh, not much to say there. On the ETC side of things, we did our presentation for the checkpointing uh, and we talked to Sergio Lerner over at uh, Rootstock for their firm to do a presentation on their solution. And we've been in contact with the Veriblock guys and uh, others, and we've asked them to do presentations in similar format to what we did with the Crowdcast. And we probably will also do a presentation on hash algorithms and have Roman Olinikov, or one of our scientists, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, because Roman has been studying proof of work algorithms for quite some time and he's already done a lot of comparison work. And of course, we'll schedule a um, meeting to discuss the treasury system as well. And we'll keep beating that drum. The team is uh, gradually getting Mantis where it needs to go. And we'll have an announcement probably middle to end of month um, about um, how that that's coming along. And we'll start uh, public meetings pretty soon, like we did before, where we have weekly status updates on Mantis with that development team. So a lot of interesting things there. We're in uh, right now negotiations with runtime verification for the resurrection of Yella. Uh, so uh, that's going to be an interesting uh, thing as well. It's quite a big project. It's a seven figure project. Uh, but I think they definitely can do a lot. And they've been working with a lot of great firms in the space. And um, it's really impressive to see how fast and far they've grown in the last two years um, as a firm, especially in our industry. So I'm really excited to see where that's going to go. But nothing to announce yet because it's a negotiation and uh, big money. So everything has to has to get where it needs to go. Uh, we're going to donate $125,000 to the Haskell Foundation. Uh, it's a new group that's being formed uh, to help get Haskell where it needs to go. Uh, we'll do a press release and all kinds of cool stuff about that. Uh, but um, it's exciting too, because Haskell has always been a series of tribes that are super brilliant and they're not quite as unified as other languages like JavaScript or Java. And that's a shame. It kind of holds back the ecosystem. So getting some unification and direction uh, is going to be very advantageous for that ecosystem. So we've been regularly talking to Simon Peyton Jones and others about how to do this. And uh, I think we're starting to converge to a really good community oriented idea. And uh, they're putting together a beautiful roadmap. And so we wanted to be uh, an early sponsor and other companies are already in discussions about sponsoring that as well, some large, some small. And overall, I think that uh, that's going to be a very successful endeavor. And it's going to ensure that Haskell remains competitive and actually surpasses other language ecosystems. And uh, that's beneficial for Cardano because a lot of our stack is written in that language. The better it gets, the better Cardano gets. So we're real happy to be part of that. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's get to your questions. 